Hey guys, welcome to Farming Simulator. Alrighty, uh, I was thinking about doing a login, but I don't want to sleep. Uh, I think I'm going to stay away from the login up until the point I finish this and uh, do the map reset. Cause I'm pretty sure I uh, kind of made up my mind on that. That's what I want to be doing. Get this guy going along again. We'll also get the tractor rigged up with cosplay. And hopefully we have no issues with um, our delightful frame rate drops. It's so intimate. It's just when it does it, I guess I've just got to stop the video and uh, restart. Hoping he's gonna go to the um, yard and empty. Yeah, I think he's going to. Yep. So, um, you guys, I've seen a couple of you. One of you, actually, that I can remember, because I've just read some of the comments from uh, the video I put out on Monday. Um, someone was asking about cosplay and how to install it. You install it just like any mod. Uh, from there on in, I'm pretty much not going to help you, because I'm not confident enough to be able to help you. One guy is, though. Sam Thomas. Uh, you've heard me mention him quite a bit recently. Well, I've only started speaking to him within the last week on TeamSpeak. Uh, he's watched my channel for a while now. Um, Recon got him on. And he's a great guy. And He started farming sim late, a lot later than I ever did, but he's tried a lot of the mods that I never touched. And he does know quite a bit about cosplay. So we started a video series up on that. Um, so I'd definitely go recommend checking his channel out because he does a very good job at teaching you about it. He's only got two videos up right now on it, the base on cosplay and then sort of the overload of stuff. And that'll be a good series right there. Also I've got a mod review video that I need to upload so probably be doing that tonight. Uh, me recording this on Wednesday, the video I do apologize, got put up late, I uh, come back from doing some running around today and found out the video didn't actually go up that I find strange mainly <laughs> because I forgot to hit save changes anyone that uploads YouTube videos knows exactly what I'm on about what I'm thinking is I may oh. Just figured out what those tires on the man truck were from. Anyway, I digress. Uh, I actually cut down one of these trees. One of them and go sell it. Maybe a couple. It's tempting. Whoa. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, you want to change it to? I think it's seven meters that fit in the forwarder. We're going to play around with that. Be a good spot. I 
you may be wondering why you only just cut one tree. Yeah, I know. Uh, we're going to take it steady. So, uh, you may remember, at the beginning of the video I mentioned about a map reset. So what I plan to do is reset this map. We'll keep all the same vehicles, we'll have the same money, we'll have the same amount of crop in each silo. I can copy that across and just add it in after. The only thing that will be different is the amount of fuel the vehicles have. As you see, I've not had to fuel any vehicles since being in this game save. Um, and the hours, unfortunately. The vehicle side of the file, I think I'm going to nuke. I may port that across, I'm not sure yet. Because I could do that also, thinking about it. I don't know, I'm up in arms on that one. But, uh, basically doing that, uh, something Sam suggested to Recon a little while back is that try it and see if he has the sort of frame rate drops. And he tried it and he didn't. He lost all of his frame rate issues. Uh, wondering if something to do with having a game save open in version of 1.1 .1 of Farm Sim and it going across to the new update, something screwed up somewhere. This is definitely, unfortunately, the most screwed up version of Farm Sim they've ever released. It's pretty much solely down to the uh, forestry stuff, unfortunately. Uh, I've seen a few people on, uh, well, one in particular on Bill's fan page saying they don't really want to get farms in yet because of all the issues. Kind of directing it to people like that. If you are mainly wanting to play the game for the farming side of it, nothing what I'm doing right now, forestry. If you want it for the farm sim, that's flawless. There is no issues with that. All of the issues I'm seeing and have seen are mainly with the forestry. It just Right now, that's a complete shambles. I should have cut them smaller lengths, I think. Hey, what are you doing? That's where I find most of the issues are, so... Don't be put off getting the game because of one part of it. Yeah, forestry is going to be a big part of the game, and is a big part of the game, but it doesn't... you don't have to do it, if you see what I mean. You could play Farm Simple without ever touching a piece of forestry equipment. That being said, as soon as you see chainsaws, <laughs> who's not going to want to play with them? Uh, I was getting frustrated and waiting to play with them, that's why I started up in Westbridge. Up here, I guess. That's why I started to do the forestry stuff before 1.2 patch came out. I was trying my best to stop doing it. I didn't play with any of the chippers or the big equipment in my sort of game save up until 1.2 came out, though. I may have played it off camera to see. Combo thinks it's finished. He lies. Uh -huh. Where was I? Oh, yeah, to see how screwed up some of the forest ma forestry machines are. And as a whole, the Ponzi stuff, the Scorpion. Is this Scorpion? What is this up top? Yeah, it's. Sc yeah, Scorpion and the Buffalo over there. They're pretty flawless. But there's still some stuff that's buggy. The chipper being a massive one. But you can see right, right now I'm doing this at 30 frames per second. I'm not complaining. That was a big tree. So it's... Uh, you just gotta take the good with the rough. I definitely wouldn't get it. If you want this game, I definitely would not get it just because it's got his issues with the forestry. Maybe if you were just looking to play the forestry then I can see where you guys are coming from, but... The 
the forestry being in the game is a bonus, something extra to do, and it's a welcome bonus, as much as it is broken and kind of put a stain on what the game was. It's welcomed. Because there's only so much stock farming you can do before it does get boring, no matter what you say. That was loud. That was one of you guys commenting on uh, the video that I just posted. So, uh, yes, that is a 12 gauge shotgun being racked as a notification. It's off of the app Zedge. Okay, we need to go see what the combine's on about. Oh, oh that was it because I was going around by myself last time, wasn't I? Let's see. Had a little burp, then it tasted like Montana's. Any of you Canadians will know it. I don't know if Montana's is over in the States, but uh, the uh, firecracker burger they have there. Yep, that's mine. <laughs> I love that thing. And the fry dip sauce they have. I'd love to know what's in it. Sounds absolutely delicious. And push it against the headache rack there. I believe I need to move. So you've never really seen me use the forwarder too much. There's some guys up on YouTube that have got one hell of a setup of twin joysticks. Uh, Recon saw them and he was freaking out, saying how smooth the guy was operating the crane. And well, Recon is Recon. He's one hell of a character. Yeah, if deputy's watching, he's probably giggling like a little schoolgirl when he's saying something like that. This is going to be heavy. And as soon as I said what the guy was using, he found a, happened to find another video linked in. I told him what joysticks it were. And joysticks you can't get anymore. And it's funny enough, I have one at home. Back in the UK that I've had for years from me playing Flight Simulator. One I've said I've played Flight Simulator for years. And I've mentioned it in the video in the past. Because it's now out on Steam. I mean, seriously guys, I've played it for years. Some of you probably weren't even born yet. And I was playing flight, flight Simulator. Some people may think I'm exaggerating, but you'd be surprised how many younger viewers there are on these YouTube farms and stuff. That's why I try and keep the language down to a minimum. There's times where I've got really frustrated where I could be let and rip, but I kind of try and stay respectful. Now I'm going to be hoping for a lot, picking all three of these up. You can usually pick two up okay. Picking the three up, you're pushing your luck. It's probably not going to happen. Lower these down. I 
from time to time I still get asked to sort of what controller I'm using as I was on the topic of controllers and that. I use an Xbox 360 controller. It's a wired one. So that's how you hook it up to your computer. It's just a USB wire. Uh, if any of you guys have got for Christmas and you may have a PC that can play it, uh, the Xbox One controllers. I've tried an Xbox One controller using the a cable plugged into the back of it and it does work on the PC, you just download the drivers from uh, Microsoft's website and it works in the game. I really like the new Xbox One controllers they're just so much smoother than the 360 controllers I would be tempted to get one to play, just more pleasurable gaming experience using the controller am I really going to spend like the 50 bucks on a controller that I'm never going to be at, probably never have the console to play on. I don't know. I really doubt it, to be honest. Okay, we'll take these over to Sal, and that'll be some of the login done. Be a slow drive. Slow drive, but we can actually set the course up for it. Because I believe I have one written for this guy. Well, just log taking stuff there in the general uh, woodyard. Let's stop things up there. <laughs> yeah, because I believe I made this for the the pair. That's down at the main farm right now. Uh, drive of course. So let's get to some of your comments. We'll go for a relaxing drive. Um. There we go. Nice relaxing drive. Okay, so fresh comment from today's video. Um, it was by who was it by? Uh, Mr. G uh, GTA Parson. And funny enough, he just said, Well, jeez, trees. Instead of resetting that map, keep it and start a new one. I kind of went over what I'm going to do to reset it. So, basically, I'll just go over it again. Keep everything sort of grain and money and all of that. Possibly the vehicle file. If I keep the vehicle file, I'll keep any animals I've already got because they go into the vehicle file for some reason. Placement of any bale and probably trees, but I'm going to make sure I've got the trees um, off the ground like these you barely touch the ground kind of do. So reset it to that so it's just a new map as it goes as the 1.2 update. Like I explained with the lag issue there. Uh, that's the only comment I believe that's come in on that video so far. Could well be wrong though. Shall go check it. Uh, YouTube. I expect this thing to be all over the road because it's articulated. Uh, getting frustrated at cosplay was the one. Uh, Devin, you put a comment saying, can you change the harvester in auto combine? Really do not know what you mean by that. Uh, and we've got someone suggesting about course play. That, um, I figured out my issue with that, but this is an older video now. And I think that's pretty much it. Winsley, whiskey, I don't know. Whiskey, I think. Um, please explain how you prog program auto combine and the same way to program auto tractor as well because I have a very large map and it takes forever to do 
great vid uh, vids as always. Uh, I should do that. Um, probably not so much auto tractor because it's it's got issues. And again, I I could put auto tractor back in if I reset this map too. Uh, yeah, that's about it, guys, from the comments section. Uh, the video, as of right now, has got 10 views, so you can tell how fresh it is. Oh, I've got two. Uh, GDR Gaming. Hi, I know you don't like people asking, but could you tell me what the Big Jordan Deer is and where it is from? Okay, if you are watching the video, uh, it is from Mod Hoster. Really easy to find under the tractor. It's by Ego Modding. He's a very big modder on that site, so it's easy enough to find. I'll probably write your comment though. But uh, JDR Gaming, let me know if you are watching this video. I want to kind of judge how many people that are responsive in the comments are watching these videos. As I'm reading out the comments. Okay, we're almost here now. If I remember correctly, uh, the Combine thinks it's finished. Combine says it is lying. And, uh, you will run about this John Deere. Why are you all the way over here? This thing moves around. <laughs> it's got its flaws. But, uh, yeah, this is from Mod Hoster by Ego Modding. Buffalo, you have reached your destination. Okay. Stop driving. Does that kind of jump? I don't know. I'm going to have to drive this back manually too, so... There, I'll leave it here and... I would say grab the low loader, but I don't even have one of them now. So yeah, we've got to drive it back. Or I could use the pickup truck ride, of course. Going back from the woody on. I thought it would have had a crappy one. Okay, straight back into the crane. Can actually. Not many people probably turn it around like this. It's actually quite a detailed cab. And what graphics sense have I got on? I've got it on high graphics and the game's working fine. Holy shit. I've got to turn them off, but yeah, it's funny enough, it's the map I'm on that we've got the screenshot off. The funny thing is, though, you can't, other than the mirrors, there's probably not a whole lot of difference between using high and medium textures. It probably is actually the texture resolution the same, though. Probably shouldn't have said that. Come on. Oh, I probably would have picked those two nicely too. Don't want to do one at a time, ideally. I want to do two. One at a time it is. I haven't got a whole lot, this probably won't bring in a whole lot of money. Yeah, that wasn't going to keep. I doubt it, but I wonder if... Yeah, 
Yeah, I was just wondering after doing all of this if it would actually take it. Combine still good? Yeah, it's blocked. Why are you blocked? It's probably full, that's why. Is the tractor okay? Ah, oh, the tractor's almost there. Yeah, it took a bit of time. Oh, and there's someone that have started to actually <laughs> realize they were making some YouTube content. I never knew they did. Goes by the name of Ian Robbins. I believe that was right. Um, I know he's been on my channel, subscribed, and commented for quite a while now. So uh, if you're watching, when the how did you start making YouTube videos? I didn't realize you were doing that type of thing. Um, I certainly didn't realize you were Canadian too. It's kind of cool when you're finding out people are making YouTube videos and been around for a little bit now. I think that's how this thing should be stalled. Too. So this thing here, what I did to drive it here would be technically you would you would never do because it's metal tracks, right? On paved ground. You would just never do it. It's when they first showed pictures of this thing, and the same with the cutter, they showed it without the tracks, and I thought it looked amazing. And then they put the tracks on it and I was like, mm, I hope they give you the option. Sort of hit F1 and key combination and tracks are off. I believe that should still be the case. I know there's mods out there, but some of the times you get the mods and they've been played with. They may not say it, but they've been tweaked. And they've been tweaked in such a way that they're not that great. And these stock ones, I've not got a single issue with the cutter, nor this. I think they work fantastic. I just do not like the fact they've got metal tracks on. And really, they only put them on the machinery in real life if the grounds are crap and muddy and whatnot, as far as I know. So I imagine it puts a lot of wear on the tyres, having sort of metal on rubber, you would have thought. Could be wrong, could be speaking out of my ass, but... I would presume... Well, that's the thing. And even then, even if they were just tyres, you wouldn't see this going up and down the road. Unless it was probably very short, very, very short trips. There's a few things with forestry that do bug me. Whoa, that's just messaging someone quickly. Uh, 
And again. Uh, combine's working okay. Tractor is waiting. 75% fill. Yeah, um, as I was saying, Ian Robertson, he's puts out some good content. Yeah, it's definitely another guy that's worth a watch. I have a, I've had a few people, as I'm on the topic, so you asking that. Can you give me a shout out? Now the only reason I kind of give people shout outs is they've got regular content being posted and they've got content already up on their channel. You say, take Ian Robinson for example, Recon Deputy, then uh, Raven here. If these guys had like one video and they didn't post anything else for like almost a month. Would I really give them a shout out? Probably not, even if they were putting great content up. If it was far and few between, I probably wouldn't. But these guys are putting videos up regularly. Uh, Recon, right now, he's in a tough spot, so... That type of thing. He's got to take care of the family first. And Deputy, uh, I believe he posted a different video up today. Uh, of course, he's got his own issues right now. Uh, and you got Raven that's posting content up every day. Well, I'm pretty sure he posts every day. He's, I know he's probably got a backload of videos. And Ian, I'm not sure if he posts every day. Uh, but I only recently knew he was actually uploading stuff seen him comment in my channel quite a few times and realised he's actually got quite a lot of stuff going on Twitter and Twitch and all that stuff. And Twitch is something I've thought about streaming in the past but honestly I doubt I ever will. park this up. May not even park it in the forest area. And there's a bit of lag drop there for the FPS. Uh weird. So like I say I've got a mod review video to post to. I've got it there, I should post it. There's nothing wrong with it. This is the longest I've actually ever driven that thing. So I kind of hope you guys enjoyed the little bit of login here. It's not a whole lot like I was saying, but yeah, it was something. Oh, are you saying you're done again? You lie. I'll wrap up the end of the video by doing some combining myself. So guys, kind of me point. Whoa, point of saying this because I really don't think many people watched to the end of the video better, or many. Would you do you like me actually doing this stuff? Actually, manually combining, manually cultivating, and stuff like that. Cultivating and whatnot, I kind of get bored doing it myself. That's kind of like gets too much for me. So, let me know on that one if you guys want me to start doing some more of that stuff and I'll make the conscious effort of trying to get it out and be doing stuff manually. But we are up to the 20, 35 minute mark, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Lag free. Yay! So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll uh, finish up this field after I've finished recording the video and polishing up the audio like I always do. And uh, we'll catch you on the flip side tomorrow. Catch you guys later.